Howdy Embers and welcome back to the corner. My name is Heron and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. In the last episode, we found... Well, we found a way to get into the giant cloud hanging over there. So, uh... Yeah, why not? Let's not waste any time. Let's go check out what it is. Alrighty. So, as you probably heard me call it in the last episode, this is the Thunderhead that we're going to. It is the one area of the sky we have not had access to yet. And should be pretty entertaining. Um, the interesting thing about this is there are these uh, sky tornadoes kind of blocking our... Uh, or trying to get in our way. And this is what happens when you get caught in one. Yep, just chews you up, spits you out, and then you just gotta call your bird back. Then we go from there. You can get a little hard to avoid towards the end here, but they're not too bad. Let's head on in. And it's raining. Alrighty. So there are some enemies in the sky here. Inside the Thunderhead. And you attack them. You just gotta boost into the uh, the weak point on the ends of their tail. They didn't really get to show that off there. Sorry. As you can see, there's a little island over there with a rainbow. We're gonna ignore that for now, but that will be important later. Let's head on over to this big old area over here. That's what it looks like when you hurt one. Anyways, let's check out what this is. Master Heron, I have memories of this island. It is known as the Isle of Songs. Signs indicate that it was left here for you by the goddess, Master. However, I am unable to determine a means of entering the structure ahead. I suggest you investigate the area. Well, we look over there. There's a little opening hanging out, but unfortunately, it's a crawl duct. So we can't actually get into it by flying into it, climbing into it, or anything else like that. All you do is we have to build a pathway, and then we have to roll into it. So, let's build a pathway, shall we? This is kind of an interesting puzzle. So, what we gotta do is we gotta line up these three dials, as you can see, that they move around in. They uh, work around, or they connect to these bridges over there, and our goal is to line them up, so that way we can have a nice, easy access the entire way through. This little rupee panel is how we are going to line them up. So let's start with getting these first two here. Okay, now we just gotta get the third one. Perfect. Coming up on it. Come on. There we go. It's about there. And one more. Perfect. Let me get rid of this. Come on. I guess it didn't like me hitting the other one. And we have all three lined up. Super straightforward and simple. Alrighty. Now let's head on in. Alrighty. Big old vacant chamber. And a loft wing crest. We know what to do. Master Heron, I have important information. When you struck the crest with a skyward strike from your sword, a message from the goddess awakened deep within my memory. The goddess intended this message for you, Master. These are her words. He who seeks the sacred flames, listen well, for I guide you from my place at the edge of time. 
The sacred flames are three in number. To obtain them, you must also earn relics known as the three sacred gifts. For each trial you overcome, you shall be blessed with one of these gifts. Or one of the gifts. Make use of the power of these gifts, and you will find your way to the, <laughs> to the purifying sacred flames. Now, I bestow... <laughs> I, I, now, I bestow unto you a melody. It will serve you as a key, opening the first trial that awaits you deep in the wilds of Farron Woods. That song is called Furore's Courage. Its rousing melody will guide you. You learn Furore's Courage. Master, you must overcome the trials set before you and obtain the three gifts to reach the sacred flames. I have committed Furore's Courage to memory. Now you can use your dowsing ability to search for the gate leading to the first trial you must face. That's just you set out for Farron Woods as soon as you are ready. And ready, we soon shall be. But as you can probably guess, there's a couple of things we gotta do first. Starting with this. We got some goddess cubes we gotta get. So we got one here in the Thunderhead. And then we've got, oh, I can't get any in there, but we've got a few out here that we need to get. Let me go check that out. Here we go. The first one's very easy to find. If it's the one I'm thinking of, anyway. Should just be. Nope, it's not the one I was thinking of. Oh well. Let's find it then, shall we? There it is. And we get a gold rupee! Definitely necessary. Alrighty, let's head on over here then. Meet you guys over there in just a second. Alrighty, I have returned. Booster Rock! Let's go ahead and, uh, where is it? Oh, it looks like it's up. Come on. And there it is. Right there waiting for us. And I missed it. And I missed it. And I missed it. <laughs> All right, let's try this again, shall we? Um, lost it. There it is. There we go. Do doodly do. That's right. Another heart piece. Alrighty. Looks like we got another one over here that we gotta hit. It's right below us. Uh, it's right in that island. Okay. Here we go. If it wasn't clear, this was Beetle's Island. That's. It is. A normal island that you can go through during the or go to during the day, but if you want Beetle's ship to actually be there, obviously you gotta sleep in his shop. So Cause Beetle is a workaholic. Doesn't take any days off. Which are definitely vitally necessary sometimes. All right, it will pop on down here, climb through some leaves, through some leaves, using some leaves, and it's one I already got, question mark? Must be the other one then. Whoops. Ah, okay. 
Bam! There it is. And we got a silver ruby. All right, we're gonna take off this beacon. And... Yeah, we'll go down to that one over there. A little ways away. But our boy Crimson Loftwing here, because I haven't named him, I wonder. I wonder if I should name him. Hmm. What to name him? Well, I usually use this name for a lot of things. So. No, actually, I think I'm going to save that name for something else. We'll just go ahead and call him Crimson. I know it's not exactly super, uh, super original, but I think it fits him. Even though his wings aren't exactly Crimson. Way more of a of a varsity red kind of color. Certainly an interesting color scheme for this game. I wonder if a lot of the highlight uh, like the highlighted colors they use is what um, are the same that they used in Breath of the Wild. Obviously the art style is significantly different, but hopefully you understand what I'm saying. And I'm not sounding like a complete doofus. <laughs> Yes, guy, I guess. I know I'm a doofus. I said not a complete one. <laughs> Come on. I say as I detour for 20 bucks. <laughs> Ooh, can I get him this time? Can I get him this time? Can I get him this time? Come on, come on, come on. Ah. Oh, well. I give up the chase, I guess. Just about there, anyway. Alrighty. This one, we're gonna try aim. Or not the one in there, I guess. Guess we're checking out this one. We get a heart medal. Also cause hearts to bloom. It says something about Kira mode. And I missed it. So I guess we'll find out what that says later. <laughs> but it looks like that's everything we've got out in the sky for now. So let's go ahead and head on back to Skyloft. Actually, no, there is one more thing I want to do. Now we have access to the desert. And I want to go to this big old island over here. You can see it right, right there. If you use a use Link as an indicator. Why are we going there? You might ask. Well, it's a very colorful island, as we can see on our map. So usually colors that are vibrant, vibrant colors are good things. And we could see some different colored platforms and what looked to be drawings of rupees. Hmm. Let's go ahead and check this out, shall we? Toto. Uh, uh, what am I going to do? It's no use. It's all over. What's wrong? You see, the party wheel that I pinned to my back flew off the island and fell down somewhere below the clouds. Without my party wheel, there's just no way I can make this island a place where people come to have fun. What can I do? It fell down below the clouds, so I guess I should just give up on it. I'll look for it. Or, look for it. <laughs> How am I supposed to get something that fell below the clouds? That's impossible. Go ahead and use this as a dowsing target. Gorgeous. 90% chance in the Lanera Desert. Ooh, it would be amazing if someone would find it. Just think of the children. Smiles on the children's faces. I'm not getting my hopes up, though. Well, if you remember... Back when we got to uh, Lanera Desert initially, I made a little bit of a detour, and we found something that looks suspiciously colorful, huh? It might just match the color scheme of the island. 
I suppose we should head down then, yeah? Alrighty. Well, here we go! Alrighty. Now we gotta activate this time shift stone. Enveloping this area in the past. Go and climb up here. Not this ancient flower, actually. And there it is, waiting for us. Can't remember if I opened up the shortcut or not, so I'm just taking the hard way around. And it doesn't look like I opened up the shortcut. If there, is there a shortcut? I don't know if there is. Either way, there it is. Party wheel. Identify the island of Fun Fun Islands. Party wheel. I guess we can call Scrapper, or the Scrap Shop robot. Come on, Scrapper. Come on down. Mr. Spies, you call? Wolves. This place seems strangely familiar. So you want me to carry this thing? Okay, okay, sir. Just sit tight there and stay out of my way, Master Short Pants. I'll be waiting for you up in the sky, so don't take too long. Ascend. Yes, Fi, we'll go back immediately. And flying right on over to Fun Fun Island. Go ahead and grab the booster rock here. Come on, come on. Right, it's there, and in, and out. Okay. Uh-huh, and wah. Splash. Here's your wheel thing. Zerk. If you want something else, Zerk, just let me know. Bye, Scrapper. Even though Skyloft's over there. Is this? Is this? It is! It is! Yahoo! My party wheel! Thank you so much! Now I can realize my dream of opening Fun Fun Island. Woo yeah, I'm so happy. And I'll let you be my first customer, young man. Thank you so much. It's going to be fun. And we get some gratitude crystals to boot. Five gratitude crystals to be exact. Bring us over 30. You joyful little man, I owe you everything for finding my wheel. And my dream of creating my very own very smiley Fun Fun Island has been realized for all to enjoy and laugh about and laugh at. Normally I charge 20 rupees to play, but since I owe you, I'll let you play your first game for free. Free is so much more fun than pay. <laughs> Can't agree with this statement. <laughs> hey then, let me tell you all about the rules. First thing you need to know is you'll be shot out of a cannon. You'll fly way up there. Don't cry, little boy. It's perfectly mostly safe. Your goal is to dive onto a cheery, colorful, rotating platform, I'll land on a happy little colored space and you'll win rupees based on the color but if you land on the gray space i call that the loser space then i get to reach in and take a handful of your rupees isn't that fun you can risk everything to win big here at fun fun island but it's a game of luck so uh don't go crying to me if you land on the loser space ahoy when you're diving super fun fortune rings and dota balls will appear like magic if you can pass through one of those fortune rings you'll increase the awesome rupee, uh, rupee score multiplier Ooh. Ooh, <laughs> and the more rings you pass through, the slower the wheel will spin, making it easier to land on your target space and win. By hitting one of those Dota Balls, will reset your multiplier and turn your smile upside down. Oh, and you can't use your sailcloth while you're diving. Do you get all of that, little guy? Sounds like fun, right? Want to give it a try? Why not? Uh, no thank you. This is the most lucrative way of earning rupees in Skyward Sword, because there's not exactly a trick for it, like Dodo said, it is mostly a game of chance, but there is a little bit of skill involved. 
because it boils down and this entire game is centered around your skydiving mechanic. So those are the dodo balls that we want to avoid and this is one of our fortune rings. So we'll grab this, hop on over here, get her times four, times six, make it times eight, and times 10. Now our goal here is to hit that awesome space in between the grays. So we want to go like right, well, that wasn't exactly perfect. Uh, two spaces off, but kind of get the gist of it. I think we'll go ahead and try one more time. <laughs> so we did earn a little bit of this. And yeah, it's a 50 rupee space is the one that we, uh, that we got. So 50 times 10, 100. Yeah, it's kind of worth it. In worst case scenario, you miss it. You can still earn up to 100 rupees by landing on one of the red spaces. So, it's definitely a good idea to... It's a good grinding spot. So, anytime I need rupees, this is where I go to. Which is why I'm happy that we're at this point of the game now. Because, seriously, money is a little bit hard to come by before this point. Well, maybe not hard, but it's not easy. Sure, we'll go with that. <laughs> hey, I just suck at getting money in this game. Alrighty, so we can get this next one. Come on. Alrighty. There's our good space that we want to get. Come on, come on, come on. Oh! Well, this is what happens when you land on a loser space. He gets 10 of your rupees. Oh well. We'll try one more time. Third time's the charm, right? Don't get it on this one, we're gonna have to come back because there is a secret prize you get for getting the max score for the first time. The max score obviously is landing through all 10 fortune rings and landing on that 50 rupee space. So we actually do need to do this to 100% to the game. So it's not just a good grinding spot for rupees, it's also mandatory. Yay. So much fun, right? Fun, right? Wanted to give this guy like a Beetlejuice styled voice, but couldn't come up with it on the spot. So it is what it is. Booyah! <laughs> Whoopity doo! You landed on a 50 rupee space. Your multiplier is 10, so that means you win 500 rupees. Wowza! You pass through all of the fortune rings. Guess which little guy gets a special prize? Go on, guess. Yep, it's a piece of heart. So we got another two and we get 500 rupees to boot. So definitely worth your time. With that, let's go ahead and head on back to Skyloft because there's a couple of things that we can take care of now that we have, well, opened up the, uh, the Isle of Songs. Obviously nothing in real action, it's just stuff that finally has opened up. But we do have the Gus Bell House, which will give us another way of making money. This one is significantly less lucrative, but you can definitely do this. Um, and it gives us more gravity crystals, so it's definitely worth it. At least if I remember correctly, you can earn some, uh, some infinite rubies from this. May just be 20. Guess we'll find out. Hi, Fledge. We'll see you a little later. We need to go to Pippet's mom's place, which I believe is this one. No. This one, then. No. Oh, no. Um. Uh, aha. That's the one we want. So we'll go ahead and equip our Gust Bellows because we gotta clean this place. 
Ah, Heron, welcome. So here's the thing, Heron, my house is terribly dirty. Pivot is always telling me to do some dusting around here, but I just can't bring myself to do it. That's why I wanted to ask you if you wouldn't mind cleaning it for me. I'll even pay you, Heron. I'm on it. <laughs> As for a broom, no, blow the dust away, blow it all away. Yep, which is why we need the gust bells, because you know, with the gust bellows, dust kind of just evaporates. Magic, isn't it? Go and break all of her flower pots. And yes, unfortunately, you do have to get every speck of dust, so there is no skipping it. Maybe you've even got a dusty bed. Come on. You knew better than that. Come on. Keep it going. Plenty to do. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get this mantle here. And then we just gotta keep going. Just got a little bit more we gotta get here. I gotta get the windows too. Forgot about the windows. Not the windows! Alright. Alrighty, that should be all of it. Even brightens up the place, it's kind of funny. <laughs> Me too. I'm also always up for a quick nap. <laughs> oh, it's no nice to have someone who's going to clean around here, Heron. For all the dust is gone. Are you done? All done. What did I miss? Where did I miss it? There's more I missed somehow. Oh, that's what I missed. Oh, dang it. There we go. Oh my, there's no more dust in my home. Thank you, Heron. You, <laughs> you've brightened my day. Come over here and let me pay you. Will do. My home is sparkling clean again. It, it feels so much better when the place isn't under a blanket of dust. Yes, it does. And we get gratitude crystals from it, making it a pretty good idea to do. There's another five for us. Bring it to 38. I can't let you go away with a reward. Watch out, here's some... Big money coming. Bam! 20 rupees. Don't spend it all in one place. And I was right, so you can, in fact, come back. The funniest thing about this is if you leave... And come back immediately... It's still clean. Dang it. Uh, I remembered it being different. I thought it was still going to be dirty. Or she was going to dirty the place up again. But I think you have to wait. Um, if you leave the area, like the actual Skyloft area, and come back or if you save the game um, and restart it, I think it does it again. Either way. Um, or you can make day cycles pass. Speaking of day cycles passing, looks like that's what we're gonna do next. So let's head on over to the Night Academy and let's let's go take a nap. I think it's about time we go do that. Plus we need to visit Petro anyway. It definitely makes it worth it. Sleepy time. Actually, I screwed something up. I will see you guys all in a second. At the bazaar! Alrighty, the reason I wanted to come here was because there's a couple of things we need to get. First and foremost, we need to make sure we have an empty bottle. And we have plenty. Let's go ahead and buy ourselves. A stamina potion. Now, why do we need this? Well, it has to do with Fledge. Yes, there's a reason I said hi to him and why I said I would see you later. But, of course, there are other reasons as well. Something about a dormitory in a big night, huh? Hmm, interesting. New shield. 
This is the sacred shield. Fire, not a sweat. Electricity, no painful zaps. Plus, it will automatically repair itself when it sustains damage. It is a little fragile, though. But it is worth it. This is one of the best shields in the game. And we don't have enough space for it. Oh, beetle! Come on, come on. Up, 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 up. Up, up, and away. Up, up, and away we go. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. 1,200 rupees. And we don't get a sacred shield. Well, I guess I'll get the sacred shield later. I'll go ahead and grind between episodes over at Fun Fun Island. Because we're broke now. Man, could you imagine $70 being broke? Unfortunately, I can. Good thing about this, though, is we have finally finished up our adventure pouch. So, no more of those for us to get. Well, I'll meet you guys back at night in the Night Academy. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's go check on Fledge, shall we? He's struggling to do push ups. Five, six, seven. <sighs> Let me catch my breath. Hey, Heron. Oh, what am I doing? I'm training. I can't even lift a single barrel. Pathetic, I know. That's why I want to get stronger. I'm a bit embarrassed about it, though. So I do it at night when no one's around to laugh at me. But it's not going so well. I'm just too tired. I was actually about ready to throw in the towel. Oh, Heron, what have you got there? That's not... It's not a stamina potion, is it? I don't suppose you would mind letting me have that, would you? Please take it. Really? Thank you. I owe you one. Ooh, yeah. I can feel my muscles perking back up already. It's just that at this rate, I don't know if I'll ever get strong and burly. Yes, you can. Wow, really? It's great to hear you're so confident in me. Maybe I can actually do this. Thank you, Heron. I'll make you proud. You'll see. I'll be super burly in no time. Okay, back to training. Come back soon so I can show you the new me. We got ourselves another little ongoing quest we got to go here. So every pit stop we make in Skyloft from this point on, we're going to go ahead and try to, uh, well, give Fledge a little bit of an, some encouraging words and well, maybe treat him to an energy drink or two. <laughs> now for the real reason I wanted to come to the Academy at night. Ooh. Ooh, somebody, please, somebody help me. Ooh, paper. Please, somebody bring me paper. Bring me some paper. Any kind of paper at all. Ooh. Paper, huh? Hmm. Where can we find some paper? I guess we'll just have to sleep on it. So I think we'll do just that. What is that? It's Colin. And he's holding paper. Hmm. Hmm, should I give it to her? Should I not give it to her? Wah! <laughs> Aaron, it's you. Don't sneak up on me like that. I have a serious dilemma on my mind right now, and you're distracting me. Dilemma? What? You want to hear about it? Hmm. Normally, I would never, ever tell someone like you, but these are dire times. Come to think of it, you might be just the person I need. You seem to be pretty good with the ladies. Ugh. I can't believe I just said that. But whatever, let's do this. Aaron, I have a task for you. So listen up, your mission is to take this piece of paper to a certain person. It's a very important piece of paper. Make sure you deliver it. 
Huh? What's on? What's your problem? Why are you looking at the restroom? What? There's someone in their restroom at night who wants paper? You fool! How dare you! This is no ordinary piece of paper. It's a letter. A very special one at that. I put my heart into every word. I guess you can't say it's sort of like, all right, fine. It's a love letter. And that is why you will not, under any circumstances, ever allow it to be used as toilet paper. Do you hear me? So listen up. The person you must give this is to a girl, an upperclassman. Her name is Karain. You know who I mean, right? She's the one with the round hat. She's really cute. You know the one? And don't you dare, not even by mistake, even think of giving it to that weirdo in the restroom. Swear it. Here it is. I'm entrusting this letter to you. So don't read what's inside. Do you hear me? You received Colin's letter. Can you believe this letter might actually contain heartfelt words from Colin? Take extra care that you don't end up using it as a scrap paper. I'm counting on you, Heron. Get to it. If you don't mess this up, maybe I'll let you be my sidekick. Hmm. This is one of our first gratitude quests. There's only three of them, but... This is kind of hilarious. So, from this point on, we actually have a choice. We can either hand this piece of paper off to the ghost in the restroom at night, or we can hand it to Karain. But I think I'll save what exactly those are, or those outcomes of the situation are, for the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Hope you have a great day, guys. Deuces.